All right, we're gonna change out this uh, brass valve with a uh, PVC yeah, actuator. And, um, but it's, uh, <clears throat> so right here, this, I'm going to try to break it off, off the union. And then if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to cut it off. But, um, there is a little difference in height right here on the bottom right here. So, uh, when you are putting on, uh, your unions, you got to make sure that your riser is going to be, one of them is going to be a little higher than the other because of this difference here. Like if you notice over here, they're the same size, same size of height right here. But this one's a little different. So you just gotta make sure you have a little bit higher riser. Um, I got these, which will do the trick. The The only thing is here is that this is just more, this, this is a little closer, this kind of valve here, than this valve here. And that's what we're gonna put in. So um might be a little challenge uh to get that on there with this uh worst case scenario <clears throat> we have to move this up forward a little bit and that'll be you know digging and pulling the pipe a little bit you know modifying the pipe uh or you can go higher with the risers but we have a cover that might not fit back on here so anyway we're going to try to see what we can do on this with what we have. I'm gonna put some W40 on there. See if that's gonna break it off. When you're doing this, you also want to make sure you got a good grip on the on the other side of the pipe, this pipe right here, so you don't want to turn it and, <clears throat> and um, break the, the, the PVC. So what I'll be doing is turning it the opposite direction. Oh, there it came right off. That was so easy. Whoa, wow, that was easy. I thought it was even harder than that. So, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you always want to put a, some kind of WD-40 or some kind of penetrating oil to Make it easier. All right. And then this right here, you can take this off. You can actually just twist this off right here and we'll deal with it later. I will have to change this also because uh, the new valve comes with the uh, solenoid. All right, so then uh, <clears throat> I got it off right here. Again, you want to pull this right here. And let's see, it's a lot easier to take off, break a, uh, your uh, valve off when, you're, when it's connected to the PVC versus this guy right here. Um, so we'll take this off here. Okay, that, that's there, that's that. Um, I do have to take this off though, so take this guy off. So. <clears throat> again, I'll get over here. 
can hold this down here. And I'm going to go the opposite way. Okay. And I'm going to use channel locks because it's a little tight here. I might like to bring this down further, but I think I can get it off with the channel locks. Alright, got that off. I'm getting this off. <clears throat> the great thing about the unions is that <clears throat> you know if it's if it's not tight enough or there's a problem with the valve or whatever you can you can just take it right off it just comes right you know and I'll sh and you'll see that but it just comes right off and you know that's good all the way around for future repairs um, and this is super great. Doesn't have to be super tight. Just, just be uh, snugged in there. So we'll put this in the, this smaller end, a smaller riser in the back, and a taller riser for the front. Um. Most of the time, you know, you're just going to get two risers that are equal, equal to the size. But for this particular situation here, you have this, um, you know, these uh, valves with the union. And it makes it uh, to be where there's a difference in the, in, the, in the pipe size height there. <clears throat> okay, so what I'll do is uh, put this on here. And you always make sure that this guy's on first because then you'll have to take the part off again and redo it. Okay. <clears throat> do this. And you can grab it from right here to uh, tighten it, you know. So as I'm tightening this, it's the whole thing's being tightened. Um, okay. And just... sure it's not too uh you just gotta make sure you don't cross thread these you know, uh, 
that spawn that time now. I forgot to mention there's an o ring inside there, so just make sure you always have that in there when you purchase it. Um, hopefully, this is going to be okay. I'm going to try it right now, make sure there's no leaks. All right, so there is no leaks. Um, when you uh, initially turn on, you know, put the water back on, um, you know, sometimes it'll, it'll go on, but then the uh, pressure will uh, close out the diaphragm and then you, and then it'll close, and then it'll shut down. So momentarily, sometimes the valve, will, the, the valve will go on and then it'll shut down in a few seconds. All right, so um, let me go ahead and finish this up. We gotta put the actuator or the connect the solenoid. And what I'll do here is just um, take this off. I'm gonna go ahead and put some new, these are silicone um, wire nuts, which you wanna use outside always because they're um, waterproof. And here. Doesn't matter which one of these wires you use, as long as it's uh, one is going to the common and the other one is going to the the power. Okay, get that in there, and this one. So we're all set up, it's all done.